What's going on YouTube? This is EJ with Lemon Frenchies. I wanted to get on here before the video started and inform you guys that this video is not meant to offend anyone. This video is for educational purposes only, and it's also for people that are 18 years or older. I do not recommend you guys try this at home. If you're not comfortable doing this, you guys can always take your dog to the vet if you're not comfortable performing an AI. Most importantly, real quick before the video starts, I want to explain for people that don't know, artificial insemination is actually safer whenever it comes time to breeding dogs. You prevent sexual transmitted diseases you also have a better shot at pregnancy. French Bulldogs tend to have narrow hips, so it's hard for the stud dog to get on top and get the job done right. So most of the time you'll see that the stud dogs have trouble getting the job done. Again, surely you guys know that this video is not meant to offend anyone. This video is for educational purposes only. If you're scrolling along and you don't know how it all works, this video is for you. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned. Okay, so for the first part of the video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got to perform the AI. We'll start with this seven inch AI rod from Amazon. It actually came with multiple of them. Uh, this is mainly what you use during an artificial insemination. You can also use a catheter, but this gets the job done. This is some napkin that I have to clean off her vulva, any dirt or anything back there, we wanna get that off. This is actually the box that the semen came in, safe semen box. Most of the time, you know, you got isolated, like an isolated pad on top of it it's down in the middle with a ice pack on top of this this is what a lot of breeders use to ship semen from what i've heard it's pretty good obviously you know you can't really control the temperature of it you just gotta rely on the ice pack that's found inside of it now this is just some polystyrene that comes on top of it the ice pack sits in between that and the actual collection so here you'll see me hold her up in this position making sure that i actually have control of her because you know sometimes they can squirm once i started rubbing her stomach later on and she kind of got more comfortable with being in this position. Now, the whole reason behind holding her up in this position is so that the semen travels down and gets inside of her real good because people go to the vets to get their dog AI'd and the vet, they don't have a lot of time. So they send the dog back with you and not all the time, but sometimes the semen just comes right out of the dog. You know, you wasted money on a stud fee or, you know, you just wasted the semen in general. So this is me actually putting Vaseline onto her vulva, in her vulva, just kind of prepping the area for the AI rod to go in. This makes it for the AI rod to go in nice and smooth, no pain for her, makes the whole process easy and it kind of gets her opened up to start with. So this is where we actually start the AI process. I'm being slow, I'm being patient. You don't want to get in a rush doing this. You don't want to make it any harder on her than it is because she's already uncomfortable in this position. As you can see, um, controlling the AI rod by actually holding the AI rod itself. I personally feel like if you hold the syringe that you don't have as much control. I'm going slow. I'm twisting, kind of going in, going out. I'm not trying to push whenever it's resisting back. You go in and up at a slight angle. So as you can see right here, I'm going in, I'm slightly pulling up at the same time I'm twisting. Each time I do that, it allows me more space to kind of go in. It's easier for it to fit in. I can tell that it's going to where I need it to go. So here I kind of change the angle a little bit i have her more at an angle and you can see here i'm putting more vaseline on it to where it makes it easier to go in i recommend that you definitely put vaseline on the rod now you don't want to put the whole rod in there you want a good portion in there though to where you know for sure that that semen is going to where you need it to go you want to slowly release the semen it's not a rush you want to be patient with this you want to slowly pull up pull out if you pull out real quick you can easily pull out semen that hasn't gone down yet that's kind of still on the rod so as you can see here i'm kind of pulling out now this video is sped up so if it looks like i'm moving fast the video sped up to save you guys time from watching a 30 minute long video i just sped the video up another thing to mention is my finger never comes out my pinky finger never comes out of her you want to you want to do this so you ensure that you know the semen goes down as it should this part was actually kind of tough for me because i don't like when willow is upset or in any discomfort because you know that's willow's you know like my daughter you know i, I love willow with all my heart i realize that this is just part of breeding and this is part of her having puppies and uh i know that she's in good care i'd rather me do it than a vet do it she'd be 
more uncomfortable with someone she doesn't know doing it. As you can see, I'm kind of just rubbing her, her rear end, making sure she knows that it's okay. Like I said, I think it's way better that I'm doing it because, you know, it, it would just make it harder on her. And plus, I don't really trust a lot of people when it comes to things like this. The vet would do it right, of course, but if I can do it and save money instead of going to the vet and show you guys how it's done, I think that's personally better. So yeah, guys, of course, I'm not going to make you guys set through this whole video. I kind of sped it up. I actually had her in this position for exactly 30 minutes. The whole purpose of this is to ensure that that semen travels downwards and it's not going to come out once, you know, you put her down off your knee. Summing this all up, though, I hope this video was very educational for some of you guys watching. I know a couple people have asked me like how it works, how it's all done. So I figured out to make a video, show you guys, teach you guys how it's all done and Hopefully you guys give me some good feedback. If you have something negative to say, let me know. I don't really care what you have to say, as long as you're not super disrespectful about it. I, I try to take everybody's comment into consideration. Uh, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I mainly just wanted to educate anyone on YouTube that wants to know how to do an AI. This is the whole process. It's way easier to do this with the French Bulldog than maybe a bigger dog, maybe. I don't know. I couldn't imagine holding a bigger dog up on my knee. I guess you necessarily don't have to hold them up on your knee but this is the way that i learned to do it and the people that do it this way have been very successful so i figured i'd do it this way also so yeah like i said i had her in this position for about 30 minutes right after this position i actually put her in her crate for a couple hours actually she was also allowed to pee and poop before i performed the ai i made sure we was outside for about 15 minutes she peed multiple times and she also pooped this is so that you know she doesn't pee right after after you AI her and all of it just comes running out as she pees. So yeah, I put her in her crate for about two hours. She seemed to be fine afterwards. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do a second AI. Normally when you breed, you want to do two breedings with a day in between. So as far as the chances of her getting pregnant, they're, they're higher. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this. I hope you guys learned something. Please leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you in the next video.